Okay, today we're going to be talking about rhythms right now, and we're going to learn what some rhythms are, and we're going to learn how to count those, and we're going to learn how to write those. It's a super important lesson. This is very important. So make sure you're paying attention. Let's get going. Uh, the first thing I want you to do, I got my metronome right here, and I'm going to set it to 60 beats per minute. And while this is going on, I want you to start tapping your toe. So if this was my foot, my toe would go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And my toe, each time I hear that little click on the metronome, my toe goes down. And you can do this with me right now. I'm doing it. You can do it. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay? And each one of those little clicks is called something in music. Do you know what it is? If so, answer out loud on your own. If you said a beat, then you are correct. This is called the beat. When we're tapping our toe, we're tapping our toe to the beat. Beat, 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 beat. And in music, there's certain amounts of beats in certain places. And, and uh, you know, oftentimes there's going to be four of them. So when you're tapping, you want to tap your toe to the beat. Okay? Uh, in music, to show one beat, a lot of times we have something. And it will look like this. Right? It looks like that. That signifies one beat. Does anyone know what that's called? Say it out loud if you know. That's called a note. Specifically, it's called a quarter note. So that quarter note signifies one beat right now. So if I was to write, I could, I could write a ton of these if I wanted to. I'm going to write one, two. I'm going to start making them sloppier so I can go nice and quick. Okay. I have four beats right there. Four beats of notes. And a note is creates sound. So the sound we're going to create with that is we're going to count. So we're going to just count to four, right, with our beat. One. And, and the way we would count is this. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Can you do that with me? We're going to do it again. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Now I want you to take your finger and I want you to put it close to the screen. You can touch the screen if you want. It might make it mess up. So uh, we want to get used to touching each note as we say it. So I'm going to do it on my screen, and you do it on yours. Count it again. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to add something. We're going to add something called a pulse, because a lot of times this quarter note is a note, and we want to have a pulse in between, just like when our toe is going down, up, down, up. That up is where we're going to pulse our voice again. So it's going to sound like this. We're going to go one, two, three, four. And you're going to pulse your voice like that. And you got to do it loud. Don't just be wimpy with it. You got to kind of go for it. Okay? So we're going to do it again. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Are you tapping your toe? You should be. Are you pointing at the notes with your finger? You should be. Okay. Now I'm going to draw some more of these. Okay. I'm going to draw four more. So how many do we have now? We have eight quarter notes. Let's count them. Ready, here we tap your toe. Ready, set, and here we point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. That's great. And that's fantastic. And in music, right now we have eight notes. And uh, sometimes in band, you're going to be, you're, but, but sometimes in band, you might have a question. And you're going to say, Mr. Absalonson, I have a question about note number eight. And I would say, oh, okay, you have a question about that note right there. That's fine. Uh, but when you're in eighth grade or in seventh grade and we're playing songs that are three, four, five minutes long, you're not going to be able to go, okay, hey, Mr. Absalonson, I have a question about note number um, uh, 3,792. That would be a problem, not only because you would have to count that much, but because I would have to go, okay. Okay, I found note number 300, 3,972. See, I didn't even remember if that was the right number. So in music, we have something to help with that. And it's this little line in the middle right there. Does anyone know what that's called? Those are called bar lines. Sometimes you'll have one at the beginning, like I just drew in the end, and then in, in the middle. And something magical happens when we create that bar line. Earlier, we were counting to eight. Right when you get after that new bar line, you start back over at what? One. You start back over at one. So let's do that together. We're going to count this, and instead of counting to eight, after you get to a bar line, it resets to one. Let's try it together. You count with me. Tap your toe. Down, up, down, up, 
point with your finger and count with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. How'd you do? Uh, if you want to rewind and go try it again, maybe make less mistakes, that's great. You could totally do that. Uh, so when we get a new measure, it starts at one. That's a very important thing to know. Now, let's learn how to write the rhythms underneath this. Okay, so I got my cursor here. I'm going to put a big one, a big two, a big three, and a big four. And then would I put a five right here? No, because there's a bar line. So I'm going to do a big one, big two, big three, and a big four. Okay, and there, that's how you write your rhythms underneath the notes as for quarter notes. All right, so let's count it again with those written underneath and we'll do it together. Ready, tap your toe and ready, here we count. One, two, three, point four. One, two, three, four. How'd you do? Fantastic, I hope you did super well. If not, you'll get better with practice, okay? Uh, the next thing I wanna teach is something, you might know what it's called. Uh, in, in music, we have sounds, but we also have silence. And so in music, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase my numbers right now real quick. We have this thing called silence. Maybe you want someone to not make a sound during a specific part in the song. So we call that rest. It's called a rest. And since we're talking about quarter notes right now, uh, specifically, we will talk about quarter rests. Uh, I'm going to write it underneath here. A quarter rest looks like that. It's kind of like a Z with a C underneath it. Okay, so those are quarter rests right there. And just like a quarter note gets one beat, and that, that quarter note gets two pulses, right? One beat, one of those clicks, and two pulses, because we go one, two, you can hear the two pulses. A quarter rest gets one beat, and it also gets two pulses, but it's one beat or two pulses of silence. So since it's silence in music, when we're counting, we're not going to say anything there. So I could, I could delete, and maybe I'll delete this one, and I'll put a quarter rest right there. And I'll delete this one and put a quarter rest right here. Right, so now let's figure out how to write in the rhythms for those notes and the rest. This first note, we got a big one. Say big one. And then we have a big two on beat two. Now on beat three, we have a rest. So would we write a three like this? The answer is no, we wouldn't because that's what a quarter note would look like. So what we do is we actually write a very small little three and we're going to cross it out. It's a small three because beat three is still there, but it's small and we cross it out because it's a rest and uh, we, we're not going to say anything right there. And then the next one would be beat four. Okay, and then this next measure, we didn't really talk about this. This whole section right here is called a measure the part in between the bar lines, and that's called a measure. So this would be measure one, and this would be measure, we, sometimes we just do an M dot for measure, measure two, okay? So let's look at measure two. We have a quarter note on beat one, so it'd be a big one. What's on beat two? A quarter rest. So we're gonna have a small two. We're gonna cross it out, because beat two is still there. And then we'd have a big three, and then a big four. So when I was, if I was to count this, it would sound like this. Here I go. One, two, four, one, three, four. Notice I'm still pointing. Sometimes we'll be clapping instead of pointing. You might try that. And, uh, you know, I'm pulsing. I'm tapping my toe. You can't see it, but I'm tapping my toe with the B. And I was silent during the rest, but I thought it. I was thinking the rest. Let's try that again. Do it with me. Ready? Point, tap your toe, say it out loud. Nice and soft. Don't. One, two, three. You want to be nice and one, two, really nice and affirmative. Okay? Let's try it together. And don't say anything on the rest. Just think it and keep your place with your finger. Ready, set. Ready, set. Here we go. One, two, four. One, three, four. Let's do it one last time. Ready, set, and here we go. One, two, four. One, two. Oh, I messed up. Oh, man. Don't you hate it when you make mistakes? You know what I call mistakes? I call mistakes 
opportunities to learn. So the reason I all right, I'm back. Sorry, it kicked me off. So the reason I made a mistake was because I was thinking about something else while I was counting. I was actually thinking if I could have a little laser pointer on the screen to show you that I'm pointing and show you where I'm pointing. So let me try that again. I'm going to turn my metronome on. Let's count together. Ready? Here we go right now. One, two, four, one, three, four. All right. How'd you do? Okay, this is the introduction to rhythm counting. Now, uh, I'm going to give you a whole page of rhythm counting. You should, I'll give you a whole packet of a bunch of rhythm counting, and you need to practice some of that. Get a metronome, all right? Open up a metronome online and uh, start counting. Start looking at those pages ahead of time. You don't have to wait for me to say, let's go count some rhythms. You can do it yourself. Practice. Get better. It's going to be so awesome, all right?